Welcome to the video. Today we are taking the gray car out to do a couple of shoots. We're gonna get some good photos for TJ's new Instagram page, Autocratic, I'll link it below. But we're gonna get it all cleaned up now. It actually hasn't even been cleaned since we've been on the dyno. So we're gonna get that thing cleaned up, get some photos. And I actually I bought new tires for Yoshi. So we're gonna get those things strapped on and pull them out of hibernation and see how he does. TJ's here. Finally got her all polished up. We go find us a couple spots. Hopefully before the sun goes down. We uh, got to the first spot and some guy drives by and he goes, your car's gay. <laughs> to the second spot if we find one. Dude, found the dance boy. Get some of them roller yeah, out of there. Second spot next to the mountains. Don't be a victim, bro. Get a clue. Did you find that clue you're looking for? the next morning. The photo shoot went a little late, so I just came back and put the car on the lift and came back home. But we're going to take Yoshi out, get him uh, some new shoes, and take it up to the shop and start working on uh, the gray car. We need to put a new rack and pinion, new lower control arms, new sway bar bushings, uh, ball joints, and everything to make it drive better. It, it runs good but it just, it drives like a 30 year old car. So we're gonna get Yoshi slapped together. I got some new shoes behind the truck here. New used, $40 a tire, can't beat that. So I'm gonna slap these on and get this thing over to the shop and start wrenching on the uh, gray 240. Well, she's running. See how she does. <laughs> All right, let's see if she runs good still. <laughs> vacuum line because it's hitting uh, boost cut when you hit full throttle so gotta take a look at that $17 for this factory OEM lower control arm with a ball joint and end link $17 that's insane, especially for 2022. I feel like I'm spending my life saving on diesel right now. Check it. Let's get this thing slapped in. Well, I think I found the problem. If you look at the bushing on the lower control arm here, Moves around about a quarter inch. Definitely what the issue is. Oh wow, that's bent and loose. Wow, okay. But this is terrible and this could potentially kill you, so. Installed, gonna pull the lines off, drain the system, and then pull the steering column off. 
Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just pull off this bolt here or here, depending on how you can slide it out. We may need to drop the uh, cross member. I don't remember if we need to or not. Uh, but if we do, we'll mark the bolts because these bolts sometimes they do mess with your alignment. If you don't put them back in the same spot, you can mess with your camber and, and stuff like that. So mark everything, pull lines off, drain the fluid, and then we'll get this thing out. You can tell it's it's been leaking out of the uh, main seals for probably uh, over a year or two now. So we got the old one out. I didn't need to drop the cradle because on the RB25 transmission, there is these little brackets that hold the bottom of the bell housing to the block. And I just removed that one bracket, which is the little triangle piece there. And you just rotate the rack and pinion and it just basically just comes right out. The old rack had a bent tie rod, very, very loose um, bushings and it leaked heavily. So replacing everything, I got new tie rod ends. I've got new bushings for the rack itself. Need everything swapped in, put it back together. Shouldn't take too long. I thought it was gonna be uh, a lot harder than it was. So it turns out that was actually really nice. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up a little bit, get the new one in, and then we'll take this thing for a spin and see how she drives. I'm still gonna have to get an alignment at some point, but I'll get it pretty close just using a mic on the threads and seeing if I can get it almost perfect. We got these sway bar bushings, lower control arms, sway bar end links, and I kind of did one of those alignments with your thumb and your tongue, you know, so that should be pretty good. The power steering is not hooked up yet. I still need to get uh, the pump cleaned out or something's going on where it's cavitating air before it builds pressure, so it just sounds like dying cats. My hat got a little messy, so to deal with this. for this video the car drives amazing can't wait to get power steering actually reattached to it so that'll be it subscribe like leave a comment we'll catch you on the next one